It takes a lot to build a comic, just like it does a doctor. So if you're going to be the caliber of comic that I am, there's got to be a lot of bullshit in your life. Just a lot of, a lot of stuff and a lot of people watching and a lot of lies and truths and things that you saw that you weren't supposed to see and stuff you documented in your head and your head has to work a certain way to be a, a really good comic. You have to process information well and remember it and keep it and and it's, you know, it, it's, uh, it's, it's the job of a public official, the comic. It's just, you know, not as lofty and not as taxing, I would imagine, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a lifelong obligation. If you're, if you're going to be a comedian, there's a lot of stuff you got to, you got to go through. The difference is, you know, with most people, the bad parts of their life are, are, uh, counterproductive to what they do. And, uh. As a comic, you know, the bad things in your life are productive, so you get to use it. The bad relationships, the breakups, the, the kids, the hassles, the jobs, just everything bad in your life becomes good for your job, which is comedy. And so, uh, the journey's worthwhile. All comedy comes from a dark place. None of it is the happy-go-lucky, hey, that's, that, those aren't comedians. That, those are funny people in your neighborhood. The comic is, is a guy who is, first of all, cynical. And uh, he's cynical, he doesn't believe anything, he doesn't trust anything, and he doesn't feel like other people are as smart as he is. It takes all of that for you to do the job. Because if you did believe that people were as smart as you, then you wouldn't believe that they needed you to talk to them, number one. Number two, you'd have to be smarter than average to get the type of information that you get as a comic and be able to decimate it to the people. So all of these dark things are, are there. And comedy comedians are born out of that darkness, out of, out of the fact that comedy was a tool for them in their childhood to use as a weapon or as a defense, but all of it is dark. All, all, of, all of the comedy is dark. Um, it's just, it's just a good thing to be able to come from that dark and make it into something good. But you know, inevitably that's what we're all trying to do with our life. So, so the question was, has my family always been supportive of what I did? I mean, that's, uh, I, I guess you could say yes about as much as the family would be supportive of somebody trying to do something that doesn't give you a guaranteed paycheck and doesn't involve college. I mean, I don't know very many parents that want their kids to grow up and be comics just because we really don't, I haven't been taught to believe that that's an actual career choice. That's pretty much something you accidentally stumble upon, you know, in the pursuit of something else. In retrospect, of course, everyone's supportive because, you know, I'm successful at it. So I think basically that's what your family wants is for you to be successful and, you know, make some money and support your family and not have to beg from them. And so if it works out that way and you're not doing something illegal, then I think you can pretty much count on family support. For kids who want to be comics, then first of all, I would say, don't you have anything better to do with your life? I mean, don't you? I mean, are, are you retarded? I mean, uh, get an education, do that, because then you open yourself up for other things. Uh, on the other hand, if you made up your mind that you're going to be a comic, I, I wouldn't talk you out of it. I'll just say be funny. And it doesn't count as you're funny to other people if you're going to do this as a profession. Uh, little JJ is blessed to have people that will help him through the process. But as a young comic, uh, you know, you got to work at it. it it's got to be uh, a job for you. And it was a job for me from the beginning. And so that's why I was able to make the transition. But you have to understand that your job is to get the most laughs in the amount of time that you're allotted.